All right, guys, we are back with another one. I know it's been a little while, about a month and a half since I've been up here. Um, I got sick, had pneumonia, fought through it, and then I got COVID and I fought through it. I'm just happy to be here to be able to continue to make content for my amazing followers. I appreciate y'all 100%. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Atom Stack A5 m30 which is a 30 watt laser y'all stick around i'm gonna get everything out of the box we're gonna put this sucker together and the first thing we're gonna do is test it on canvas because that's what everybody want to see and we're gonna see we're gonna test everything from wood to metal to any and everything we possibly can y'all stick around it's gonna be an amazing burn all right guys i got everything unboxed Looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy laser to put together. We're gonna put this sucker together, then we're gonna get ready to test it. Next time you see this laser, it's gonna be time to engrave. So y'all stick around for this amazing burn. All right, guys. So we're gonna start off by testing the Atom Stack A5 M30 with canvas. This is 11 by 14 canvas. Y'all already know how I start off. I haven't did one in a minute, haven't sprayed in a minute, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. Excited to be back. So we're gonna hit this canvas with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss White. We're gonna start at the bottom, just like always. We're gonna go all the way up, and we're gonna come all the way down. Make sure your paint shook up very well, and then hit it. Just a nice, even, overlapping coat. up making rookie mistakes there we go all the way up oh that looks good once we get it at the top bring it back y'all have no idea how excited I am to be able to continue to practice and Try to help someone do something amazing. Ah, feels great. All right, there we go. That's our coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss White. We're gonna let it sit and dry for about two and a half hours. Then we're gonna come back and cover it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. By the time that happens, maybe I've been on figure out what I want to engrave on this Atom Stack A5. <sighs> decision decision y'all stick around it's gonna be an amazing burn all right guys we are back it's been about three hours we're gonna go ahead and put our top coat of rosodium gloss black on it i have chose the picture y'all stay tuned i will be revealing this picture um it has a lot of meaning to me uh, i'll explain in a little bit till then let's put on the top coat of rosodium gloss black Make sure it shook up very well. Start at the bottom, work your way all the way up to the top. An even overlapping coat. There we go. Nice even overlapping coat. Make it look like glass. There we go. That's our coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Y'all stick around. I'm gonna load the picture into GIMP. We're gonna edit it, set up light burn, get ready to start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. This is the image that we chose to do today. Let me introduce you to Little Milton Campbell. He was a good friend of a great friend of mine, um, Bob. If y'all recall, I did the blues um, the Legends of the Blues for Bob, um, well, <sighs> Bob passed away a few weeks back and um, I didn't get to attend his funeral because I was in the hospital myself fighting for my life. So this one right here for you, Bob, you still owe me a fishing trip, but I know you will love this picture and this is the picture we're going to be doing today. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do to this picture, we're going to size it. I'm going to be doing it on an 11 by 14 canvas, so we're going to go over here to image. I'm gonna scale the image. It's very important to scale the image. 
All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna change it to inches, and it's gonna be 11 by 14. Make sure to hit the unlock. Uh, by 14, hit scale. All right, control mouse wheel to make it smaller, boom. All right, now we're gonna run the big gimp and plug in on it. That's all we're gonna do to this image. Same as normal, give this machine a fighting chance. I think it can do it. I'm gonna go to big gimp and plug in. Come on. All right, so we're gonna be doing, we'll leave it at 318, keep it on tile. We're gonna change our, our width to 274 but we'll just do 280 and here max height we're gonna do we'll do 360 but we'll change that once we get it in the light burn to fit the canvas perfectly all right we're gonna hit okay let it process there we go looks pretty good all right from here we'll go to file we'll go to export as and we'll call it Milton desktop get them photos hit export boom make sure your quality is at 100% export boom there we go we're gonna load it into light burn line everything up get everything set then we're gonna start this amazing burn y'all stick around all right guys we got our image loaded into light burn we're gonna go up here and we're gonna change the width change the width to 274 we'll erase it change it to 274 and our height um is gonna be we're gonna go to uh 352 we will adjust this once we line everything up but that's the baseline for 11 by 14 canvas in the past and we're going to try it out on this one. We might have to adjust the numbers up and down just to get it perfect. All right, for our uh, cuts and layers, we're going to be using 6,000 speed. We got to test this thing. 6,000 speed, and we're going to do 64 and a half power. Um, we're going to be running pass through. That's it. We're going to hit a preview real quick to see how long it's going to take us. Three hours and 26 minutes. We're going to make that big. I'm gonna hit the invert button, see how it looks. Boom! And it is looking good. Looking good, I like that. Alright guys, I'm gonna line everything up and then we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. Alright guys, we are back and we got everything set up. Before we start this amazing burn, I want to send a shout out to you all. And I just want to thank you all for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. With that being said, we're gonna hit shift and frame. Make sure we got everything lined up. At the end of this video, I will go over some of the different features of this machine. But for now, we're going to start this amazing burn. This goes out to you, Mr. Bob. I appreciate you. And y'all already know what it's going to be. It's going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around. I'm going to start this thing. <laughs> 